And then came revenge. That 5-1 defeat at Tranmere earlier in the season was more than taken care of. It's got in. Straight from the boot of Paul Cook. Broke handily there. And Simpson has found his way through. And it's a good stop, but surely Powell has got it through. And Daryl Powell scores the first derby goal. Jostling going on in that area, and it's awkward for the keeper, and it's not awkward for Dean Yates. He's found the net for Derby. 2-1 they lead. <laughs> Lifted up to that far angle of the uh, penalty area. The keeper's punch is an effective one, and then he keeps out a point-blank shot. Sturridge again. Simpson this time rockets the ball into the roof of the Tramier net. Simpson. That will be Simpson, and Simpson has scored. Well, that's an astonishing goal. I don't think anybody got a touch, and it's two for Paul Simpson now. Well, this has been a great day for revenge. And we look back to that day in November at Prenton Park, when Tranmere won by five goals to one. It turned uh, out to be a turning point in Derby's season, and here is Sturridge! And Sturridge, who has been so instrumental in the rise of Derby, scores another one. Well, they'd like one more, I'm sure. And they might get one yet, with Chris Powell, and then Gabby Dini, and then Daryl Powell. And they are so confident today, Derby. Van der Laan to Karslick. And they've strung together half a dozen passes here. Sturridge wandering around that penalty area. Brilliantly past two defenders, pulls it back, and that's a hat-trick for Simpson. And it's six for Derby. Well, they've been torn apart, Tramier. They're still battling away down that left touchline. Ball in field for Pat Nevin, who dances past the first defender. Can't get past the second. But he's here again, uh, Nevin, and down he goes. Well, he didn't go down, but the referee still says it's a penalty. Well, Stimach will dispute that for certain. John Aldridge just scored so many times from the penalty spot, and there's the little shimmy 